Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker D and Harper Realtors. Well, today I'm at the community of Harvest Hills, technically Marion, Texas, but it's closer to the Shirt Cibolo area or New Braunfels area, kind of in that little gray zone in between the two communities. We are on the country a little bit. You got some cow pastures around us. You'll see that in a second. One of the things I love about this community is their tax rate. They were at 1.7 and they build on bigger lots. The house behind me here is just over a quarter of an acre, 0.3 acres to be exact. All right, let's go check this house out. Now this is the Brandon plan. I know I, I have a buyer building a Brandon in Esperanza, but uh, this one, the reason I'm videoing this is Chessmar just lowered the price of this house to 503. And builders will do that when you have a house that is completed. Builders don't like to sit on them. So they, uh, it's been sitting for a little bit, so they have reduced the price. Um, I-35 is off this way, so that's to our west. And uh, as you can tell, it, we we're out in the country a little bit, but not too far. You are literally, I think, 10 minutes from here to New Braunfels and about the same to the Shirt Cibolo area. This community's been out here for a little while. Um, so, and they just opened up some of these new lots. This plan is 3,425 square feet. And what separates this from other Brandon plans that I've videoed in the past is they've had the mother-in-law option built into this house. And because it's Harvest Hills, they got three car garages. All right, let's head on inside and check this beautiful home out. Really nicely done. Now, before we go in, uh, I need to do a better job of this, of asking for you to hit that like button because it really does help my algorithms. I have noticed my viewership has been going down a little bit, but I also think that's because of market and the interest rates. As I'm filming this, it is late June, 2023. So interest rates are pretty high right now. And that's really put a cramping on buyers. That also means builders are getting a little more desperate, which is really nice to have if I'm representing a buyer. So this Brandon has a bedroom right up front. Check out the closets. Nice closet. Um, this is also a gated community. They don't have the amenities like Esperanza or Vintage Oaks has, but they do have a really nice pool up front. And I'll get that towards the end of the video. Nice bathroom. Now, Chessmar does have a couple of Brandons that are on the market right now out at Harvest Hills. So feel free to give me a call. And if this, they have a more modern looking Brandon plan, this is more of a traditional look. But uh, they do have three different brand, I believe it's three different Brandons that are on the market right now. All of them have a little bit different features to them. This one's set up as a dining room section, but you can always remove that light fixture and do whatever you want to with this space. All right, we're still at the front of the house. Eight foot doors in here. You do have your laundry room space. and your big three car garage. Two water heaters. And then we come around, and this is what I was talking about the, when Cheshmar built this house, they have the optional uh, in, uh, mother-in-law suite type thing. So you can close these two doors up and really create a nice little environment for if you wanted to have someone else living in here because they'd have their own private bathroom and shower. And then this space here, if they want to have this as your like living room space. And then their own bedroom, all kind of shut off from the rest of the house. Which is a really neat feature to have. Could be like an in-law, mother-in-law, a uh, 20 something year old kid who can't, doesn't want to live on their own, but also wants to be still living in the same house. This is a really nice, op nice option to be able to just close those doors off. All right, coming into the main living space. Lots of great lighting in here. 
big wall to put your TV on, whatever you want to do. And then a very nice kitchen. Well, they went with the darker cabinets on this house. But like I said, if this design and the pick selections on here aren't really a cup of tea, give me a call because they've got other houses in this community that's on the market right now. So I'll mention, I don't know if I recall if I mentioned before, they are asking only 503 for this house. They just had a almost $30,000 price reduction on this home. They do use the GE Profile Appliances, which is their upgrade appliance package. A single basin stainless steel sink. And like I said, I mentioned before that other room can be used whatever you want to because you've got this space here that can be used as your formal dining room slash breakfast nook. So many people just aren't using formal dining rooms anymore. Just one room's plenty. Well, let's check out this backyard and this outdoor space. I do like the direction this house sits. Uh, west is kind of off this direction here so you will have the shade like i mentioned before we're in late june 2023 so it's quite warm outside but it's nice to have a shaded back patio and they just have a light up there but that is going to be blocked and framed for a ceiling fan so after you close on the house you could do it just a few steps going into the backyard space but Remember, th this is a big backyard, uh, just over a quarter of an acre. Yeah, just over a quarter of an acre, which is quite nice to have. But look at this view. Now, right now, the developer hasn't purchased all this yet, but they could potentially. So you see these houses back here, down the road, they might extend this road here. So I cannot promise that you'll have no backdoor neighbors in the backyard there. But, yeah, it's an easy drive coming up some little country roads from I-35 to get to the Harvest Hill community. I really do like this community, uh, especially that tax rate of 1.7. All right, hopefully you're still with me and you've already hit that like button because now we're going to get into the master bedroom. All right, a good sized master bedroom with the tray ceiling. Lots of good lights. I'm glad Chess Bar already includes the blinds. Be surprised how uh, many builders don't put blinds in their house. That's an upcharge. But this house already has all the, they've already taken like the base price and added all the upgrades, like blinds would be one of them. And that's where you get this price of 503 now that they just reduced the price. Dual vanities. Good size mud set, in, inset shower. Get my words right here. And let's check out the closet. Nice long closet. With a shoe rack and everything. And the water closet's gonna be in here. There you go, nice extra wide water closet as well. Remember eight foot doors throughout this house. All right, for the amenities, you got a little clubhouse. There's a pool. You can see the playground area. They do have a nice little tennis court back over there and a full-size basketball court. All this is up the front part of the community. The front of the community is right over there. There's even a little swing set. All right, that's gonna wrap a tour of this Brandon plan in Harvest Hills with the mother-in-law suite. I hope you liked this video. If you did, definitely hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And remember, if you're looking to purchase this house, it doesn't cost you anything to use a real estate agent on there. If you've got one, stick with your realtor. If you don't, I'd be happy to help. Uh, feel free to give me a call or text. 
My contact information will be in the description box or schedule a Zoom meeting with me. I do these videos to help both uh, you guys get as much information about the area because it's a big scary decision. You can never have too much information about the communities, the builders, yada, yada, yada. All right, that's gonna do it for now. Take care and have a wonderful day. All right, bye.